students shweta yo your maths teacher let us start today's class see this picture you can observe so many types of numbers here real number rational number integer whole number natural number irrational number these are the types of numbers i hope you already studied natural number what do you mean by natural number yes counting numbers are called natural number what do you mean by whole number yes natural number including zero is called as whole number let us start today uh, today's class chapter 2 that is whole number see the real number system contains these numbers real number is contains rational and irrational number inside that uh, rational number integers are there integer inside whole number is there whole number inside natural number is there you can observe here the these are all numbers are represented by using a circle means uh, see nat, uh, in a whole number uh, in what do you mean by whole number how you define natural number including zero the collection of natural number including zero is called as whole numbers means in the whole number natural number is there so like that only if you see the integer i will give brief introduction about the integer see here uh, zero 1 2 3 4 the you know that that is a whole number but if you see the zero left part left side part see minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 see these are all the negative numbers these are all called as negative numbers why it is called as negative numbers these are all represented by using minus symbol so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so these are all negative numbers and zero right side number 1 2 3 4 these are all positive number if there is no any sign then you have to understand there is a plus is there so plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 you have to understand that so here integer contains uh, zero uh, in uh, natural numbers and also a sorry negative numbers and also a positive number in in an integer it includes negative numbers and positive numbers and also including zero these are all integers you call it as see rational numbers and irrational number you will study in your higher classes uh, let us move on the chapter to whole number see uh, your natural number starts from one and 1 if you add 1 you will get 2 2 if you add 1 you will get 3 3 if you add 1 you will get 4 4 if you add 1 you will get 5 like that forever because counting never stops so if you counting and counting and going you will get the next uh, next higher number so like the next greater number it will be obtained if you counting and uh, going so that's why i, I am telling you start from 1 natural number start from one count for counting forever he is known as natural numbers see one one apple one apple if you had another apple you will get two apples two apples if you had another apple you will get three apples so like that if you are adding and going there is uh, you will get the next increasing this next number so that is the reason natural number counting start from one counting forever is known as natural numbers let us define natural number number which will be used for counting are called natural number so this is a uh, natural number represented by using a number line you can observe in this picture now whole number see the uh, the natural number along with zero from the collection of whole numbers natural number is defined as natural number uh, sorry whole number is defined as natural number along with zero from the collection of whole numbers the whole numbers are simply the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Here you can observe in this picture inside of whole number natural number is there. So natural number uh, whole number is defined as uh, 0 including natural number. So that is the reason uh, you uh, inside of natural number if whole number is there uh, in that natural number also uh, it will be there. Uh, here for from by seeing this figure you can conclude that all whole numbers are a natural number but you cannot say all natural numbers is not a whole number because natural number start from one in the whole number zero also is there so that is the reason all whole numbers are called natural numbers but all natural numbers are not whole numbers Example 0, 7, 212, 1000, 10, 1023 are all the whole numbers. Number line. See number line you have to take the um, whole numbers and you have to draw a number line. Let us see how to draw a number line. See here. You have to draw a number line like this. 
and you have to take a whole number for that see if you have to add in uh, by using number line you have to move left to right see in left to right if you move means the number will increases increases means adding so addition 8 if you add plus 1 you will get 9 9 if you add plus 1 you will get 10 so like that so uh, if num in a number line if you move right to left then number will become decreases so here 6 minus 1 then you have decreases means you have to do subtraction 6 minus 1 is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so subtraction if you want to do means you have to move right to left uh, addition you have to do means you have to do left to right like this you have to do addition and subtraction using number line multiplication on number line see let us take one example 5 jumps each jumps is 2 steps 5 multiply with 2 equals 10 5 twos are 10 so this number you have to represent using number line means first you have to draw a number line then see here the question is 5 jumps you have to jump and each jump you have to jump 2 2 each jump is 2 2 uh, you have to jump for example 0 to 2 and 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 each jump you have to jump in 2 2 here so uh, you know that uh, multiplication means repeatedly added so i see here uh, 2 you have to add uh, 5 times here that is only 2 you have to add 5 times 0 0 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 the answer is 10 a multiplication means repeated addition for this example see here 2 2 you have to add 5 times 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus 2 is 10 and see here uh, this uh, first picture i already explained addition means you have to adding uh, one for that successor by the name itself it indicates success see for example the you, know, you are uh, last year in, in grade 5 so grade 5 you are promoted and you will uh, promote it to grade 6 right so here one number will be increased one grade will be increased so like that only successor means a successor is a number that is one more than the given number any number you are uh, you uh, uh, they are given successor you have to find means you have to add plus one for that number so for example one successor is two two successor is three three successor is four like that predecessor a predecessor is a number that is one less than the given number see here demotion is the best example demotion means for example anyone is an higher position they will uh, they will decrease for one position from that higher position that is only a demotion a predecessor means you have to subtract here subtract minus uh, subtract one number here any number they are given you have to subtract minus one for that number so for example two uh, predecessor is one three predecessor is two like that one predecessor is zero like that because 1 minus 1 is 0. See, let us move on exercise uh, 2.1. Write the next 3 natural number after 10,999. See here, next 3 natural number. Natural number means you are counting the number. Counting 1 for that number. 10,999, uh, next num 3 numbers, natural number means 11,000, 11,001 and 11,002. Write 3 whole number occurring just before 10,001. Just before means subtraction you have to do. See here, the 3 whole number occurring just before uh, 10,001 are 10,000, 9,999 and 9,998. Which is the smallest whole number? 0 is the smallest whole number. Like that only which is the smallest natural number? Yes, 1 is the uh, smallest natural number because 1 starts, natural number starts from 1. Write the successor of the following. I already explained successor means you have to add 1 for that number. For example, here 24 lakh 40,701 successor is, you have to add 1 for that number. If you had, so 24 lakh uh, 40,702 you will get. Like that only here, see here, um, 1 lakh 199 successor is plus 1 you have to do 1 lakh 200 predecessor means minus 1 you have to do here see the predecessors are here 2 lakh 8090 predecessor is minus 1 you have to do 2 lakh 8089 you will get here 
see this number 76 lakh 54,321 uh, predecessor minus one you have to do 76 lakh 54,320 in each of the following pairs of the number state which whole number is on the left of of the other number on the number line also write them with the appropriate sign between them means here two numbers they will give which number is left on the which number you have to write here see 530 and 503 you can observe here see 530 is greater than the 503 so 500 and ends 503 is on the left side of the 530 on the number line here uh, this number you can see 98 lakh 30,415 here 1 crore 23,001 so uh, by uh, the periods only it will be increased for example see here it is a lakh period and uh, uh, the another one uh, number second number is a crore period so crore period always crore is greater than the lakh so you can write since 98 lakh 30,415 is less than 1 lakh 23,001 so hence 98 lakh 30,415 is on left side of the 1 crore 23,001 on the number line. Which of the following statement are true which are false? 0 is the smallest natural number. 0 is not a smallest natural number. 1 is the smallest natural number. So it is a false statement. 400 it is a predecessor of 399. See 399 predecessor means minus 1 you have is a false statement zero is the smallest whole number yes zero is the smallest whole number 600 is a successor of 599 yes it is a true statement so, 599 plus 1 is 600 so it is a true all natural numbers are whole numbers no all natural numbers are not whole numbers all whole numbers are natural numbers yes in a natural whole number natural numbers also included so all whole numbers are natural numbers the predecessor of two digit number is never a single digit number see if you see predecessor of two digit number so it will be uh, never a uh, single digit number no it will sometimes it will be single digit number also for example you can see 10 10 is a two digit number trend predecessor is 9 9 is a single digit number so 10 minus 1 is 9 so so the predecessor of a two digit number is never a single digit number is a false statement remaining uh, true or false you have to do it yourself let us move on properties of whole number see there are five properties of whole number the properties of whole number includes closure for uh, addition and subtraction closure property you can say commutative property for addition and multiplication associative property of uh, for addition and multiplication distributive property of multiplication over addition identity for addition and multiplication these are the five properties of whole numbers this is very most important let us see um, uh, see on uh, one by one closure property you see what do you mean by closure property two whole numbers are uh, add subtract or multiply if you do add subtract or multiply it gives uh, another whole number it uh, if you had uh, two if you take two whole number if you had that number you will get that uh, answer also whole number only this is only the statement says this is closure property of the whole number let us see one example it means that the whole number are closed under addition if you had the uh, that uh, number also uh, the answer also it will be a whole number then you can say it means the whole number are closed under addition let us take example if you subtract then you can say whole number are closed under subtraction if you multiply whole number are closed under multiplication you can say so like that for example 4 plus 5 equals 9 here 4 is a whole number 5 is a whole number if you had you will get 9 9 also a whole number so that is only closure property says if you take any two whole numbers if you had subtract or multiply if you get a whole number the answer will be a whole number then the uh, the whole uh, closure property holds see uh, 5 minus 2 equals 3 5 and 2 are whole numbers if you subtract the two numbers you will get 3 3 also a whole number 5 multiply 6 5 6 are 30 5 and 6 are whole number 30 also whole number 0 multiply with 15 0 any number you multiply with 0 you will get 0 only so 0 also whole number so hence closure property says this let us move on commutative property 
what commutative property says commutative property for addition let us see first addition commutative property for addition the sum of two whole number is the same no matter in which order they are added if you uh, change the order the sum remains same uh, if your order will be changed the sum remains same then it is uh, say that commutative property of addition holds good let us see one example 5 plus 4 equals 9 if you had 4 plus 5 also 9 let us see one example by uh, through activity see here uh, see i have taken 1 2 3 4 4 plus 2 see 4 plus 2 is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so like that only if you take if you change order first if you had 2 that is 1 2 plus 4 next 1 2 3 4 the answer remains 2 plus 4 also 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 see order will be changed first you add 4 plus 2 next you add 2 plus 2 the answer will be same 6 so that is only commutative property of addition says uh, therefore 5 plus 4 equals 4 plus 5 the, this is only 5 plus 4 equals 9 4 plus 5 equals 9 so you can say 5 plus 4 equals 4 plus 5 this shows uh, that we can add uh, whole numbers in any order multiplication uh, if you see multiplication 5 multiply 4 uh, 5 4 is a 20 and 4 mul uh, 4 multiply with 5 you will get 20 only therefore 5 multiply with 4 equals 4 multiply with 5 equals 20 only so this shows that we can multiply whole number in any order so commutative property for multiplication says that the product of two whole number is same no matter in which order the they are multiplied if you multiply with any order uh, if you change the order also the product remains same so then commutative property will holds good let us uh, see one activity see here see here how many rows are there one see rows how many rows are there one two three four there are four rows and three columns one two three so four multiply with three equals twelve four three is a 12. For example, if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 4 multiply with 3 equals 12. So, if you change order, I um, uh, see I changed, I pasted like this. See, if you see how many rows are there? 1, 2, 3. 3 rows. How many columns? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 columns. So, 3 multiply with 4 equals 12 only if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 3 4 3 is also 12 3 4 is also 12 so multiplication if you change the order the product remains same associative property associative property of addition see your grouping you have to do grouping uh, grouping by using bra bracket you have to do by taking a bracket you have to group the number for example 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, you group first two numbers that is 1 plus 2 you have to group then plus 3 first you have to add in, uh, inside the bracket see board mass rule you have to apply bracket first you have to simplify 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 then again 1 plus 2 plus 3 next last two numbers you have to group 2 plus 3 1 you have to write like that only 2 plus 3 is 5 1 plus 5 is 6 see if you do grouping also if you add then also you will get the same number only so that is only associative property says see uh, first two numbers first you bracket uh, used bracket if you simplify that you will get the same answer then last two numbers if you use bracket if you simplify then also you will get the same answer so 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 1 plus 2 plus 
3. This shows that results are same even if we change the grouping of numbers. Grouping of numbers change also, the result will be same. The answer will be same. So, while adding whole numbers, we can group them in any order. Any order you can group and you can add the numbers. This is called as associative property of addition. Now, multiplication. See, 2 multiply with 3. Here also, uh, instead of adding, you have to multiply here. Grouping you have to do. 2 multiply with 3. Multiply with 4. That is 6 multiply with. Uh, that is 2 3s are 6. Multiply with 4 is 6 4s are 24. So, 2 multiply with 3 4s are. Uh, see, 3 last 2 numbers you have to bracket. You have to use bracket 2. 3 4s are 12. 2 12s are 24. Therefore, 2 multiply with 3 multiply with 4 equals 2 multiply with 3 multiply with 4. So, this shows that results are some same even if we change the grouping of number. So, while multiplying whole numbers, we can group them in any order. This is called associative, associative property of multiplication. Distributive property. Distributive, property, distributive of multiplication over addition. 15 uh, see if you take 15 uh, 8 plus 2 15 into 8 plus 2 you can write so this you have to distribute distribute mean by the name itself it indicates you are distributing the numbers see, 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 is 10 15 into 10 can be distributed as 8 plus 2 so 15 into 10 is 150 so like that only 290 multiply with 105 so, to make this multiplication easy, we break, breaking or splitting or distributing the numbers here. 105 is distributing as, is splitting as, is breaking as 100 plus 5. 105 can be written as 100 plus 5. And then we, we will use distributive property. 290, uh, one, 105 can be written as 100 plus 5. So, 290 multiply with 100 plus so, inside of a bracket, you have to multiply that number 290. 290 into 100 plus, plus symbol is there in the middle. So, then again 290 into 5. So, that is 29,000 plus 1450, 30,450. Let us see one activity. Distributive property. See here. Here, uh, how many rows are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. How many columns are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. So, 5 folds are 20. See, one, oh, 20 blocks are there. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 blocks. So, like that only. See, I cut this uh, part and I have pasted another one grid I make like this and I cut this part and this part I cut it and I one part I paste like here and plus a symbol I used and another part I paste here so you can observe now uh, how many rows are there in this first part one two three four there are four rows and two columns so four twos are eight plus see here how many rows are there uh, one two three four four rows three columns one two Three, four threes are 12. See 8 plus 12 is also 20. So like this you have to distribute. You, I, I am splitting here and splitting and I am again I am adding here. See here 4 twos are 8 plus 4 threes are 12. 8 plus 12 is 20. 5 fours are also 20. So this is only distributive property says. Identity. Identity law means 0 is called as an identity uh, for addition whole numbers or 0 is called as additive identity. Uh, what is the identity for uh, for addition means you have to say 0 is the identity law identity for addition. So, it is called as additive identity because 0 plays a special role in addition. For example, 7 plus 0 is 7 only. 5 plus 0 is 5 only. So, 0 plays a special role in multiplication also. Any number when multiplied by 0, you will get 0 only. 450 multiply with 0, you will get 0. So, that is the reason 0 is the additive identity of, uh, uh, that is additive identity or identity law for, which is the identity for addition means you have to say 0. 
and multiplicative identity which is the multiplicative identity means the multiplicative identity property says that any time we multiply a number by one product is the original number only for example if you multiply one so one is called as one is the identity for multiplication of whole numbers or multiplicative identity for multiplication of whole numbers see nine multiply with one nine only seven multiply with one seven only ah so that is the reason you have tell that one is the multiplicative identity now homework you have uh, you see go through this and write the homework and send a pic to me thank you